and, um, and in an improvisation, which is what this is about, um, he ought to know about improvisation, since that is his, one of the marks, the major mark of a good classical Turkish musician is his or her ability to do beautiful, well-crafted, traditional, in the traditional language, and improvisation. And um, Jin Chende, for a long time, has been leading a very singular kind of life in Turkey. Um, the Turkish musical scene makes the kind of life that he leads rather unusual and very, uh, perhaps a little difficult. For those that you know, the Turkish history in this, in this century has led, created a great interest in Turkey in primarily Western music and the traditional music which Jin Chende and his ensemble represents has been somewhat sidelined. We would argue perhaps about how much it's been sidelined. It still exists, it's still thriving in a certain sense as you'll see today because we have musicians who are playing who are in their early 20s and those that are in their 60s. So the tradition continues. It's a live tradition. It's a one-to-one -one tradition. It's a tradition that's now notated in this system. And, but it's, uh, I think you're going to get some sense today of how different that system is. And Jinnu Chan, with his expertise in the whole field of Makam, as a composer of the longest kinds of forms in Turkish music, and the shortest kinds of forms is an authority in this. Just one last thing, just so we understand what we're talking about. If you were being asked what American music is, what would you tell people? It's not easy, is it? Okay? And so to say that simply Turkish music is Turkish music, different Turkish people will tell you different things. He represents a particular very strong stream that goes back at least 600 years in the Ottoman tradition before the turn of this century. And it, continues, it represents a continuation of that tradition. At the same time, there are people who are studying Mozart and Haydn in Turkey. So understand that we are getting a picture of a certain slice of Turkish culture here, a very special one, a very highly developed one in the figure of Jinu Chantan Nikolaj. My name is Jinu uh, Chen. Uh, I was the uh, English spelling also. Jinu Chen is a name uh, coming from uh, Asiatic origin, from the Kazan Turkish, Central Asia. It's a unique name in the world because it's a um, kind of a creation uh, of my father. And it means victorious and glorious. I'm not responsible though, because it's too humble. <laughs> Since my father didn't ask me my opinion. And Sanzikor means protected by God. I'm not quite sure to which extent, but I know today he's very busy with dealing with people in Bosnia, in Azerbaijan, in other countries of the world. But fortunately, he gave me this uh, piece of wood as a flying carpet, which gives me the opportunity of going around in the world, some 23 countries of the world, to give solo performance.